Okay, just so this is making retainers at Maloney Dental, the Essex retainers. This is a model that I've taken and poured from an alginate impression. So first of all, trim the base a little bit. Let's get rid of some of this excess material. Gotta be careful not to uh, cut the teeth. Okay, so that's uh, that's pretty good. I just run around and make sure that there are not many bubbles in the gingival margin with a Lacron carver. Like this, I've already done this one a little bit. But there's still a few bubbles there. I'll just turn this machine off so there's not so much noise in the background. Okay, this is actually a staff training video, but Anybody watching this on YouTube, you're welcome to uh, keep watching. You might find it interesting. A little bit more trimming to do just there. Sometimes I would just use a, uh, a plaster trimming tool just to get rid of excess. Okay, so that's ready to go. So we come over here. And uh, this is our mini star machine that we purchased and we just basically put it down on that section. We so the, we're using Zendura blanks and we select uh, 35 seconds of heating cycle. Here's the Zendura blank. They come individually packed. So you've got to open these up but don't open them up too early. Open them up as you need them because they do absorb moisture and can uh, go bubbly so here's a little one of those gel packs inside to take the moisture away so we undo that locking rim we pop this down I use the mat side facing up and we swing the heating element across now as you can see the machine starts to count down and it goes through this counting down process until it gets to 35 and then once that's done uh, it takes a little while so we're not going to wait here this entire time I've already prepared another one this is how it comes this is how it comes out of the machine like this so once it comes out like that um, we, we remove it from the machine and we take it across to our trimming station so you can hear the machine is now beeping it's giving us a five second warning so we close it like that and then we come over here so once that comes out of the machine we come to this stage of trimming and basically I turn that up a little bit I use this lab hand piece and I trim just below the crown level gingival level all the way around now, if you're watching at home, don't try and do this without some experience because it's very dangerous on your fingers. And do wear eye protection in case these little hot bits of Zendura material flick up onto your eyes. Okay, that. That thing has now finished its cooling cycle because I heard a beeping. I'll take you over there and I'll show you what it looks like. Finish the cooling cycle, so it's pretty simple. You just open it up like that. And there we have a nice suck down. These pressure, pressure forming machines are really good. So we'll just finish off with this one here. So I've trimmed that almost all the way around now. Make sure it's all, all cut nicely. Next thing I do is I take the blank off. Sometimes they're a little bit difficult. When they're a bit difficult, this is what I do. I just cut the 
the excess material away and see it comes away quite nicely and then you just peel it off like so the teeth usually break okay so that's pretty good I use these little um, rubber cups from from Burke Dental uh, rubber polishing brushes they, they work really well or mops they are sorry they work very well this one's a little bit this one's been used a bit they're an abrasive and what they do is they take off these little bits here that makes the edges of the tray smooth I'm going to turn that water off makes the edges of the tray smooth so that you don't feel these little lumpy bits that's right, worry about it. against your teeth, against your gums, or your tongue. Once that, once that's done, I normally just go around with my finger, like so. There we are. See, felt that straight away. Just go around with my finger and make sure it's all, all nice and smooth, which it is. And then uh, we give that uh, a rinse and we stick it in one of these containers. Now I'm a pretty traditional bloke, so blue for boys. There you go. This belongs to a young man. There it goes and it's ready to go. That's the end of our Essex retainer video.